did you know that Megan Fox, you know, Transformers, whatever she's done since then, nobody's quite sure. Machine Gun Kelly. Um, did you know Megan Fox has not one, not two, but three transgender sons, as in sons that believe they're little girls. The odds on this, as we bring up a photo, all three of Megan Fox's son claim to be transgender. What are the odds? And that is correct. The odds of having one transgender child is less than a tenth of a percent. I'd like to point that out, first of all. The odds that you have three transgender children, we are at, like, predicting asteroid levels. Planet-killing asteroid frequency is where we are at when we talk about three children from one family being afflicted with gender dysphoria in a natural sense. Like, they, nothing has been done to them. They have not been influenced by anything. There's just something wrong with them, allegedly, that was to make them think this way with themselves. What are the odds of that? That's the first question. Even if you are, you know, pro-trans, you think kids should be able to do all these things to themselves if they believe they're the other gender... Even if you believe that, can you get on board with the statistical probability for us science deniers out there? Can you get on board with the probability that there are three transgender children in one family? Now, she's spoken about this before. I learned all of this today. So bear with me if you're familiar, because this is from June 2023. And this guy named Robbie Starbuck pointed this out, that last year, 10-year-old nine-year-old and six-year-old Noah Bodian Journey. And, oh, I thought it was going to be MBD. No big deal. 10, nine, and six. So six, 10, and 11, I guess, or seven, 10, and 11 now. He pointed out that they Megan Fox gets them to wear girl clothes and calls the act child abuse. And, and I guess the children's father, which is this guy named Brian Austin Green. I know I've heard that name. I'm not sure who he is other than this picture. But... He called it a bogus story. He's also 21, a father to 21-year-old Cassius. And 11-month-old Zane. Are those children transgender? Maybe they should be, and we can't complain about that. There are only a few people in the world that can actually verify whether or not this story is true, and I can tell you with absolute certainty it is not. So the claim is that Megan Fox, again, forces them to wear girl clothes. This person is trying to claim that this is true, is a perfect example of someone with selfish motives that does not care about negatively affecting a parent-child relationship. In fact, Green and Fox, who split in 2020, encourage their kids to express themselves through their style. So, let's go back to me for this one. Claim is you make your children wear girls' clothes. Rebuttal is, no, we don't, but we just let them express themselves. Who's buying their clothes? You've got three boys. You have no need for little girls' clothes. Who buys their clothes? Where did they get these clothes from? It's a good question. We're not allowed to ask it. We're not asking any of these questions. I'm just saying, if you were to ask questions, this is, I think, Megan Fox saying this. Noah started wearing dresses when he was about two, and I bought a bunch of books that sort of address these things and add to and address the full spectrum of what it is. It's completely out of the blue. (laughs) <laughs> Some of the books are written by transgender children. Some of the books are written by transgender children. Would you ever let your kid, you know, would you be like, I'm going to buy this math book written by a child? Do you trust a child to properly teach your child things? I do not. I would not say, hey, learn calculus from the seven-year-old. He might not know. <laughs> he might not know world geography very well. He might think that, you know, he might be a flat earther. No, but why? Not only are you buying your children books written by children, you're buying them written by transgender children. Poss- what possible influence could you get from a book written by a transgender children when read to children? Gee, I wonder. Some of the books are just about how you can be a boy and wear a dress. You can express yourself through your clothing however you want. That doesn't even have to have anything to do with your sexuality. 
So the argument is that you're getting your kids, and here's another picture of them. Poor children. I don't even know if we should be seeing their faces. You're you're defending the argument that you make ch- your children wear dresses, and because of your influence, they've become transgender. The statistical anomaly. The same chances of you winning six lotteries in a year. And your rebuttal to that is, no, we haven't influenced them to think they're the other gender. All we've done is provide them with dresses to wear. All we've done is provide them with literature about boys wearing dresses and other literature written by transgender children. That would be like the having the argument of your child is racist. Like somebody's got a child that comes up and starts screaming the N word at people, uh, telling people to go back to where they came from. And somebody says, you know what? I think that that person has taught their children to have racist views. And then the parent comes back and says, well, listen, okay, that's disgusting. All I've done is given my kid a Klansman robe. All I've done is put them in front of TV to watch Hitler's speeches. (laughs) That's all I've done. All I've done is given them books written by racist babies. (laughs) There is no connection here. In fact, them being racist has no connection to their world belief at all. They're their worldview at all. And, and they will not just grow out of it. This is not a phase. This is just how they naturally are. This is how you sound Megan Kelly from time to time. They were very young. From the time they were very young, that was would have been confusing. From time to time, they're very young. From the time they were very young, I've incorporated those things in their daily lives so that nobody feels like they're weird or strange or different. I can't control the other the way other people react to my children. I can't control the things that other children that they go to school with have been taught and then repeat them. Huh? I'm so proud of my kids, blah, blah, blah. He's a pianist. I would hope so that you can afford this. I can't help what other kids say that have been taught and repeat them. You have taught your kids these things and repeat them. This is so crazy. I feel like she's just messing with us. I've incorporated to these, these things into their daily life. So nobody thinks that they're weird. It's because it is weird. If somebody comes to school dressed as a panda every single day, not just Halloween, you're going to think that's weird. And then for you to say, oh, well, the children have actually been told by the parents to think that's weird. Everyone's been brainwashed, but Megan Fox's three transgender kids. That's the lesson we're learning here. How dare you ask questions? We're not asking questions. We would never ask questions about Megan Fox's thumbs. And we would certainly never ask any questions about her three young boys becoming transgender because there is no inf- there She is not influencing them to be transgender. All she's doing is buying them dresses and making sure she's reminding them with books every single day that they're transgender. Megan Fox's thumbs. Have you seen it? I'm typing with one finger, but uh, bear with me here. Ha- have you seen it? Have you seen her thumbs? I, I mean, I thought I'd remember them being way worse than this. You try to get a close up on somebody's thumb and this is what they do to you. She's got very square looking thumbs there. They look like toes a little bit. I think that there we go. Okay. Yeah. That's an interesting thumb. Is that her other finger behind it? Yeah. So she's got some square thumbs. Maybe this is the backlash she was, she was going for is you make fun of my thumbs. I'm going to make transgender children all alleged, all hearsay. None of this is true. None of this is admissible in court stricken from the record. Your honor. I'm not a lawyer. Turn it up, Jordan.